This spring, Governor Bobby Jindal pushed through major reforms of Louisiana's public school system. But in spite of those aggressive changes, it appears that African Americans are increasingly turning their backs on the public school system and educating their children at home. WDSU News anchor Norman Robinson explains why. When we say like a as, what is that? What, what a simile, exactly. This is the language arts class at the Kamali African American Homeschool Cooperative in Harvey, Louisiana. So everybody got that assignment for tomorrow? Taught by Professor Amari Johnson, a Ph.D. candidate at the University of Texas. We've been saying that you hold on to a, a, a true friend with both hands. Is that literal? Are you going to walk around with your friend like this all the time? No. No? All right, so what do they mean by that? Are they, are they speaking literally or figuratively there? So what is this is part of a growing nationwide trend among black parents who are now homeschooling their kids. Until recently, homeschooling in the U.S. was practiced mostly by white parents. Now black parents, like those here, are leaving public schools for the same reason as white parents. They're fed up with the lack of discipline, bullying, disinterested teachers, and a system they say all too often writes off black kids, particularly black males. I'm not getting paid for this, no notoriety or anything. This is my life. This is what I do. I got to raise my kids the best way I know how. They're not being exposed to things that I wouldn't approve of. I know who's educating them, what they're learning, how they're learning. Um, I'm more involved with the process. A process that also stresses the importance of African-American history. We got to stick our neck out. Harriet Tugman stuck her neck out for us. I am, you know, more pleased with having not only them learning math, science, uh, language arts, so on and so forth, but their story as well. Nine-year-old Ya Mitchell says, She's never been happier. What's your favorite subject? Well, my favorite subject is um, our story because it teaches me about my culture, where I came from, and who I am. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about that? Well, it feels good because I finally get to know who I am instead of just being just a random person. I am going to walk through this fear and do what I have to do for my people. If, if our education is not teaching us, as black people, how to solve our own problems, and then we're being miseducated. We're being culturally misoriented. Dr. Samori Kamara, a history PhD from the University of Texas, runs the Kamali Homeschool Cooperative, which is just one of two ways you can homeschool your children. You can register with the state and do it alone, or join a group of parents in a co-op. It's a cooperative. So we have people like Brother Elijah who comes in to teach. We have Brother you know, Amari who comes in to teach. We have Mama Abena who teaches different things because you may not know math, you may not know science, but you know somebody else who does. To answer critics of the process, Dr. Kamara says homeschoolers enter college at similar rates and are often two to three years ahead of their public school counterparts because class size is much smaller, parents are more driven, and have more flexibility. If you get off of work at 5 o'clock and you want your child to learn from 5 to 8, then do it that way because you don't have all the fluff that's going on in the public school system. Our children can do what they need to do in about four hours a day. Plus, he says, there are no disciplinary distractions. Now, a lot of the students I heard address you uh, when talking to you as, sir, yes, sir. Is, is, is that by design? Yes, definitely, definitely. Why? I mean, well, we have a situation here where we, we definitely want our children to be disciplined. We want them to understand that their elders deserve respect. Although the federal government has no current statistics on the number of black kids being homeschooled, the National Black Home Education Research Institute says the movement is increasing exponentially all over the country. You know, Norman, it really is an interesting report. And like Scott said, it takes a very special person to do that yeah, for children. Don't try this unless you're really committed to your kids. And serious about it. All right, Norman, we should also add that for more information on home schools, contact the National Black Homeschool Educators Association. That number's there on your screen, 225-778-0169. 13,000 families in Louisiana currently homeschool their children. African Americans make up 1 to 